I'm James Wright. Today is March 8th and this is my weekly shop update. So we've got a lot of things going on, but first I want to show you a few new stickers we've got. So I don't have a whole lot of new stickers out this week, but I do have a few. Um, Ty from uh, Monoloco Workshop sent out a really cool sticker. I love this guy. So he's now patting Matt. <laughs> um, ben Brandt out of B2 Builds. Uh, sweet shot, uh, sweet video. You got to go check out his show. He does some really, really funky stuff. Um, Nick Ferry. Uh, he just had a, uh, a build making an air cleaner out of an old furnace fan and some other things. Really sweet show. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. You've got to go check out his channel. So, hope you like it. I did get a little bit of work done on the dresser this week, and I really kind of enjoyed that. Uh, it's good to just take a, a break and do something fun. Um, and I was able to put the arch in the long front tenon, so it actually goes like that. Uh, you may not see it, but there's about an inch um, arch from, uh, from middle to ends. Um, as well as I got to cut the legs and the tenons so that this is now uh, in, the, uh, in the legs of the dresser. So soon I'm going to be starting the, uh, the carcass, um, all of the, the, the levels that go in between the, the drawers. I'm going back and forth between putting in a, d a dust shelf or just leaving them open. Uh, part of me says put in a dust shelf, but this thing's going to be heavy enough. So uh, what would you do? I mean, do you like dust shelves and dressers? I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. So I've got a lot of things done this week. Um, other than the dresser, uh, I was able to finish up my turning saw. Um, and this, this I love. Uh, I really got to, to have some fun with this. Um, there is no bandsaw, bandsaw in my shop, and this basically replaces that. And honestly, I have a bandsaw blade that I'm using for it. Um, but this was, this was a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to have a video coming out on the build for this. Uh, maybe this week, if I can get everything set up for it, uh, it might not end up being until next week. But uh, I'm hoping to get that out soon. I am absolutely flabbergasted at how this came out. It was really, really well done. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy. Uh, it cuts like butter and uh, it looks pretty decent too. Uh, it's made out of mahogany with a uh, red oak uh, strap and uh, uh, parts are from an old hacksaw um, and bandsaw blade. So. I just made it out of uh, stuff I had in my shop, and that was a very fun build. So one other task I was able to complete this week is creating my first pin. Now I don't have a lathe in my shop, and I want to build a lathe at some point, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I still wanted to build a pin, and I wasn't really thinking I was going to build one for a while, maybe not until I get a lathe, but then Stress-Free Woodworking issued a challenge, uh, and they wanted to uh, have a, they wanted to have all these woodworkers create pins, send them to Stress-Free Woodworking, and then he would send them out to the troops. And I thought that was an awesome idea, and I had to get on this. So I uh, went and built a pin, um, and I did it without, uh, without a lathe. So I've got a whole video coming out on that. That will actually, I'll probably be able to get that out Wednesday or Thursday this week, so I'm hoping that uh, you like that. It was really kind of fun and uh, something I, uh, something a little different from what I normally do. So keep your eyes open for that. So things coming up this next week. Um, number one, this Saturday I'm going to be at the Milwaukee Woodworking Show. Um, I've got a couple other friends going, so I'd love to meet you. If you uh, see me in the aisles, feel free to uh, wave and say hi, and uh, I'd love to uh, I'd love to meet a few of the viewers and see what you think in person. But uh, yeah, so Milwaukee uh, uh, Woodworking Show, I'll be there Saturday. I have uh, quite a few projects lined up right now. I, I've, <laughs> Uh, I, I thought I was going to be working on the dresser for a while, but other things started piling up. And uh, well, one of the big things is I recently acquired um, some new uh, sharpening uh, stones, the <laughs> steels, uh, diamond plates. And I wanted to make a, a good sharpening station. I've been using this um, dirty table and it was plastic and it's just not what I want. So I'm gonna be making a new sharpening station for that coming up here soon. I'm also gonna be doing a video on sharpening dovetail saws. I've actually had several people ask me about that. Um, so that will be, uh, that might actually be out this week, might not be until next week. One of the really cool projects I have coming up is actually a kit that I got from Blackburn Toolworks. Um, this is a really, really sweet kit for a saw kerfing plane. Um, now I've made a couple others in the past and I've made a, a kit from another company um, and I, I love them, they're great. But this kit has a few things that are just really, really kind of special and I wanted to do this. So um, I've got the kit I'm putting together. Um, I've got the lumber. I would love to know what this is. I have no idea. I'm guessing it's Sapili, but I, it doesn't quite look like that. Um, but it's, it's a fantastic lumber. I'm looking forward to working with this. So, I'm also going to be making a Rubo-style um, resawing frame saw, 
and so I've got this poplar for it. And normally poplar isn't my first choice, but for a frame saw, this is actually pretty good stuff. It's stout, it's lightweight, it's simple to use, it's clean, it's straight grained, uh, and so I'm kind of looking forward to playing with this. So that'll be another project coming up here soon. The one project everybody keeps asking me about is the hand plane that I'm going to make when I reach a thousand subscribers. Um, and I finally chose the wood for it, so that's going to be coming up here soon. And it's going to have a sole made of purple heart and a body made of ash. And I am really, really looking forward to this. These pieces are, are, are absolutely perfect for it. Really nice, stable, straight grained. Uh, the purple heart is just, it's beautiful and going to make a, a fantastic sole. So this is going to be very, very sweet. Um, two smoothing planes, purple heart sole with an ash body. And those are going to be gorgeous. The one other project I have coming up that I've wanted to do for a while, but I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do with it, um, is making Google Cardboard. Um, you may have seen it, you may not have. It's the 3D virtual reality headset that you wear made of cardboard. Um, Google did, a, it's dirt cheap, but you can turn your phone into a, a 3D virtual reality setup. And I wanna actually make a nice one out of wood. So that's a project I have kind of mulling around in the back of my head. I'd love to hear if you have any particular thoughts on it. It's something you'd like to see, uh, but that's, that's something I'm looking forward to. The last thing I have this week is I've finally come up with a, a pattern of video uploads. Um, I've had people asking me, what exactly do you do? Usually my shop update is on Tuesday, uh, and then I'll throw in one or two other videos throughout the week. So from here on out, what I'm gonna have is a shop update on Tuesday, um, and then I should have an artistic build or something neat or something new that I've done on Wednesday, and then possibly on Saturday, I will have a how-to video, uh, whether that's how to sharpen a saw or how to make a saw um, or how to anything else. That's kind of what I've been wanting to do because some people want the how-to videos, some people want the artist, artistic cool videos, and some people want the shop updates about what's going on. Um, different, different strokes for different folks. So three videos a week, one on Tuesday, one on, well, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday or Thursday, and one on Saturday. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on that. I'd love to hear if you have a better idea. Uh, who knows if I'll do this for a long time, but uh, we'll do it for now. So that's about it for this week. I have a lot of fun projects coming up and uh, things planned, and I would love to hear what uh, what you have to say. I mean, a lot of the videos that I make, uh, like the making a chisel and the, the scratch dot cutters, um, how to sharpen a dovetail, uh, those are, are things that people like you have asked for. What uh, can you show us this video? So please uh, keep sending in those suggestions and uh, I might make a video. And if I do, I'll try and give you a shout out. So I hope you like that. That's about it for this week. Until next time, have a wonderful day.